Peace family, back again, one more again, with heroines of black history, heroes of black history, but we covering the ladies right now. We got Sister Sarah Boone. If it was not for Sister Judy Reed, Sarah Boone would have been the first African-American woman to receive a patent from the United States. Her patent was for her improvements on the ironing board to make the ironing board work for the clothing that women had at that time. Uh, the ironing board had been patented in 1858. So shortly after that, about 30 years or so after that, sister was born in 1832. So she had grown up doing a lot of laundry, more than likely, ironing a lot of clothes. And it's just the style of clothing that they wore. You cannot use the current ironing board and do ladies' garments. It just wasn't happening. So she made her improvements in 1892 is when she got recognized. She was born enslaved in North Carolina in Craven County. She was originally Sarah Marshall until she got married to James Boone in 1847. She had a big family. I miss those big, beautiful black families that we used to see everywhere. And then she got the fuck out of North Carolina and moved to New Haven, Connecticut. Good on you, sister. That was a very wise move. And sadly, we lost Sister Boone in 1904. You know, if it was not for Judy Reed that came out eight years before her in a completely different category, Sarah Boone would have been the first woman to ever have a patent in African American history. So this is one of the seconds, this is one of the first, and it's still historic no matter what. So thank y'all for listening. If y'all like to support me directly, you can check out my books at bit.ly slash. Daryl Omar books. You can even just Google search Daryl Omar for real. Maybe I'll be a hero of black history one day. Maybe you'll be a hero of black history one day. But for today and for now, peace out.